Hi, today we're going to talk about how we determine the sample size n required when we're estimating a population proportion when the estimate p hat is unknown. In other words, we're not given any previous information about what the, pop, or what the sample proportion is, what, or we don't have a previous sample proportion, we have no guess of the population proportion, and we're again going to use one of these three formulas. This first formula, if you remember, was the formula that we use when we're estimating the sample size for population means. The second one is for population proportions when you have a previous study that's giving you some information. This third one is for population proportion if you have no information, you have no guesses as to what the population proportion is. This is what we're going to use for this problem when we don't have any previous knowledge. In general, this number does give you a number, or this formula gives you a number that's larger. When you don't have any previous knowledge, you have to ask more people in order to get the same level of confidence. So let's work through this example. How many people are necessary to estimate the population proportion of people who prefer Coke to Pepsi at a 95% confidence level with a margin of error of 3%? And again, we're going to use this formula Picking out the pieces, we know that Z alpha over 2 is 1.96. That's what we've calculated before for our critical values. And so we have all the information that we need. Z alpha over 2 is 1.96. The margin of error is 3%, which is 0.03. And we just plug into the formula 1.96 squared times 0.25 all over 0.03 squared. And when you plug this into your calculator, the number that you're going to get is 1067.11. And again, we're working with things that are, you can't break up into pieces when you're surveying people in this case. So the rule was we always round up so our final answer is that n equals 1068. And if you compare this to the example that we did previously with the same numbers, but we had a previous study, you will see that this number is larger than what we had in the previous example.